Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel programming with a purpose. So today I'm going to show you how you can basically configure the build settings in Xcode using a configuration file. So here we are adding a new file from template and we have written config in the search bar. So we are now adding the configuration settings file. You can give it whatever name you want. So basically you can create different type of configuration files for different settings of your project especially for your debug and release builds you can create different type of profiles or configuration files so here i'm going to show you how you can open the pbx proj file to see that what type of properties are there inside this file and we can configure all of these properties using our configuration file so you can see here that we have targeted device family on line number 306 we have a swift version these are like the simple properties that most of you who have used xcode would have used so here i'm going to set the ios minimum deployment value to see that if it is reflected inside the file and then we are going to change this property using our configuration file so we have checked here the value is set as 15.0 previously it was 18.0 so here i'm going to show you how you can add this configuration file to your build settings so basically go to info tab and in debug and release add this configuration file to all of those targets you want this configuration file to have an effect on You can also pass a custom variable value using this configuration file but i'm not showing you the process here maybe in some other video so basically here i'm searching the string of deployment which is going to lead us to this property of iphone os deployment target which is 18.0 set here so i'm going to copy it and paste it inside my configuration file and next we are going to change its value and we are going to see that how to make this value effective so there was a little bit of issues with setting this values inside the build settings and i'm going to show you all of those steps that i have taken to reach the final step which changed the build settings so we are going to go to build settings use this tab all and levels filters on and next we are going to scroll down and here you can see the ios version is set as 15.0 so it is set property and and you can see here at the bottom which of the targets are influencing this value so build is failed let's see the error so the signing certificate has an issue let's fix it so now we are going to move back to our settings file and build settings and next we are going to check the value here so it's still 15.0 if you go, are going to change it it is not going to take any effect so we are going to nullify these values inside the minimum deployments so that whatever we are setting inside the configuration file it is going to take some effect So the value is still the old value we are going to clean build to see that if that thing works so our build is also failed that is going to lead us to an issue inside our build settings which i'm going to show you here now so you can also select the value by using the drop down and selector here we are going to move back to info tab inside our project and here you are going to see here that we have a small yellow triangular warning sign against each of these configuration files which means that it is unable to locate it since we have moved it inside the project so we are going to readjust its selection to our new location now the issues are fixed in both release and debug so now the yellow triangle disappeared which means that we are able to successfully set the configuration file and next we are going to see the value here and you can see here that the value is set properly so this is the way in which you can set any of the project settings using this configuration file here i am setting it to 17 to check that if it still works 
and it is working and it is going to show you that which of the files are providing which of the value and uh, in the result column you are going to see the value that is basically taken or set eventually you can also check this value by open the pbx proj file that i have shown you earlier how you can do that so now what is basically the purpose of this file you can set its value using a shell script or using any of the configurable settings or script inside your project so this is the place where you can create a run script and you can change this value depending upon your certain variables or situation of your app and then you can basically set this run script on any part of the building and linking process by moving this tab up and down so this is all for this tutorial i hope it will be helpful for setting different configuration properties inside your build settings for xcode